Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now that I'm re-recording this because I decided to not turn on my mic last time. So we are back once again. Um, today we're in our part two of our Discord Pi development series. And today we're going to be talking about moderation commands and how to work with a health command. Uh, there's one bit of code that is here uh, that wasn't in the last video. Client.remove command help. That removes the command help, the one that's default by Discord Pi. Uh, and it allows us to replace it with whatever we want. So we're going to go at client uh, command. Uh, and I'll tell you at some point what what can go within, be, be, uh, within these parentheses, because something can go in there. Uh, that will be able to add different aliases for the command, like if you're trying to run a ban command and someone types it wrong, it will still listen for that. Uh, but we need to asynchronously define ban, and we're going to add CTX as always, but we're going to add more. Uh, member, which is going to be you adding the person. Discord dot member. We're gonna add this little asterisk here. That means it's an infinite argument, meaning it can run all the way to the end of the command. Reason equals none, meaning uh, it is no longer a required argument, but you can define it if you want. You also need to add that colon, or as it doesn't like you. Await member dot ban reason reason equals reason so if you don't define a reason it will just say none but if you do define one it will put it in there it'll ban the member and then it'll say wait with the context channel being sent to saying the member has been banned from the server. Boom, simple. It'll only send that if it has successfully done what you asked it to. But what about Kex, you may ask? So here we're gonna add another command. And we're gonna define a kick command. We're gonna use the same exact arguments as before. If you ever have any questions, there's an invite to my Discord server in the link in the video description. And you can ask me in the comments down below. You can also check if on my GitHub all this code will be posted, this confirmed working code. Member.kick, that's the, a difference between this, but you can still use the same arguments. Reason equals reason. Boom. So we're doing the same exact thing here, just sending a message to where the command came from, saying the user, the member, has been kicked from the server. But you may ask, what about a help command? How can I tell people how to use my bot? If I can spell async right, that would be nice. That little Discord Pi by default has a help command built in. You can remove that and it'll remove the built in, and we can define our own. So we're just going to define our own here, real quick. We're just going to do await ctx.channel.send. We're just going to have it send tutor tutorial bot help. And we're going to have it send another message. Just be careful if you're sending a lot of messages. If you are sending a lot of messages at once, 
Discord will start rate limiting you, which means the bot will not be able to send messages for a little bit. So just be careful. Try to send as few messages as possible. But you may ask, what about moderators? Will only moderators be able to do this? Well, at this moment, everyone can do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have it check to see if you have a certain permission. Um, underneath the command, we're going to do at trans dot has underscore permissions. And we're going to do kick members equals true. So this will check to see if the user has the kick members uh, permission with any of their roles. This will not check for a certain role. This will only check to see if they have this. So we're going to do that same thing with the ban. Except this time we're going to change the kick to ban. And if it if that user doesn't have that permission, it won't run it. It just simply will not. So we're going to test this out. I have my test user in the server. Uh, we'll be able to show you him here in a sec. Here he is, test boy. We're going to go ahead and check this out. Add test boy because. So we're just going to do this. And there seems to have been an issue. Sometimes this happens. Okay, that seems to have just been an issue. So we're going to try this again. Now that the bot is online, we can now do it. And boom, I'm gone from the server. It's perfect. How about that? And now your bot has ban permissions. Just make sure that in your OAuth 2 that you give it permission to ban. Very simple, right? Alright, well that's the end of the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to learn next in your next video. And have a great time.